So, you would like to know how to spawn an object in Unity. Maybe you want to spawn players, enemies, bullets, or any other objects. In that case, you are at the right place. I am Cory Code, and let's jump right in. Spawning objects is achieved through using prefabs in Unity. I have created a scene with a standard camera, light, level, and some balls. The balls have collider and rigid body with the gravity turned on. I created a couple of empty objects over the level. These will be spawning points and I will make them spawn balls periodically. I also got a cube stretched out all under the level. Its mesh is removed. We will use its collider as trigger to this spawn object. It has a rigid body and while the use gravity is turned off. I need to create prefabs from the balls in order to be able to spawn them. So I will create a folder in the project directory to keep them tidy. You can name the folder anything you want. I will call it simply prefabs. I will reset the XYZ coordinates of the balls. Then I drag them over to the folder one by one. Finally, I will delete the original game objects. Prefabs are like blueprints of an object and they get realized when uh, we instance them in the scene. I will add the new script and name it Spawner. Double click it and open in the editor. I will add the following public properties. Game object called spawn item. We will assign here the specific ball prefab to be spawned. Float called frequency for set how often new items would be spawned. And the float called initial speed for the starting speed of the spawned object. I will add a private property, a float called last spawn time where we store the last time an object was spawned. I will remove the start method as we will not need it for this example. In the update method, we need to evaluate if it's time to spawn the next object. Next is to spawn the object. I will detail this uh, method in a moment. Finally, I update the last spawn time with the current time. I create a public method spawn I will initiate a new spawn item, which is our all prefab as a new spawned object. I set its position the same as the spawner transform position. I will use Couturian identity to face its default direction set by the prefab. As it's a pole, it does not matter which direction it's facing. Yet, an arrow should be rotated towards the firing direction here. Then I take the new spawned object's rigid body velocity vector and set it towards the spawner transform forward position multiplied by the initial speed to shoot out the ball. Finally, I set the new spawned object parent to be the spawner, simply to keep the spawned object organized by the spawner. I will add the spawner script for each spawner game object. I will assign a different ball for each spawner. I will set up different frequency and initial speed values. and I will rotate them different directions. Let's run it. That looks great. The only issue is it's keep generating balls and it never removes them, even if we don't need them anymore. So let's fix that. I will add the new script to level boundary and I will call it the spawner. I will not need the start or update functions for this example. I only need to add a private function called 
on trigger enter with the collider parameter. This method will be called by the physics engine in case of any collusion. Normally you want to add some checks here, for example using a specific layers for the spawned objects, but that's out of scope for this example. I only will add a destroy order game object. Alternatively you could add a timer for the spawned object prefabs and then destroy them when they expire. So let's run it. You can see now the balls are despawned when they reach the level boundary. Perfect. Please subscribe to get notified of new videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.